again, go. Please, please take a look, look at this video. video. That's my boy! Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Oh! Ho, ho. Ah! Oh! Whoa! Oh gosh, what is up with these Pokemon? Oh, I like that giant turtle thing. I don't know why, but oh! Ah! I'm gonna scream every time I see Sabo. I'm sorry. Oh, we got some salt stuff in here. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's a crow. It's a crow. I get it. I get it. Ah! 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 No! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh my gosh! What is that with the pillars? What is what is what what what? What is this? What is this? What in the world? What? Oh my gosh, they're making Pokemon Giant Godzillas! Ah! Oh! Okay, we're gonna finally see what the what is up with the soccer fields. What in the world is up with the giant Pokemon? Oh, it's, up! <laughs> it's my boy. I kind of liked that music a lot. Ooh. Okay, we're at Game Freak now. The, Hello, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hi, Masuda. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. Omori. Omori. What did you think of the video? Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. You can take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first partner Pokemon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and many other locations filled with rich personality. <laughs> Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Galar region. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. Okay, so the gyms. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. To tell you more about some of the Pokemon that reside in the Gala region, I'd, I'd like, like to, to hand, hand it over to James, James the, the art director on these games. Hey, Jamie. Um, hello. I'm, I'm James Turner, Turner from Game Freak. Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. There are a lot of never-before-seen Pokémon that await you in the Gala region, but allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. Okay. The first Pokémon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. Wooloo. <laughs> this Pokemon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Gala region who use it to craft popular specialty goods. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur. 
Gossifleur. The flowering Pokemon. Oh my god, it's so cute. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water, and its Ooh. pollen is said to have healing properties. Ooh. This next Pokemon is called Dreadnor. Dreadnor. The bites Pokemon. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Its Ooh. vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. It puts its skills to use when working so it's a crow as a flying tonight. taxi. I which will like take that. the player back to any town he or she has previously visited. Ooh. As many of you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. Gossifleur is one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves, it becomes Eldegoss. Okay. As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. That's all I can show you this time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are and what the weather is like, meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera, allowing you to better search for items and Pokemon. Search far and wide in the tall grass, in the skies above, and even in the lakes, for you never know what you might find. In certain locations in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. Hi, I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. That fish tank is distracting. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. All the moves they know turn into powerful max moves. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. So, you need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Mastering Dynamax will be key to becoming a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Remember that wild area we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. So you can connect... They literally just One confirmed that we can connect to other players. Is called Max Raid Battles, in which four Pokemon trainers can join forces to challenge wild Dynamax Pokemon. In Max Raid Battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Not only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. 
Okay. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. The Pokemon that you can take on in Max Raid Battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in Max Raid Battles, so we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. Huh. Max Raid Battles features strategic cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. So I hope you'll try Max Raid battles with all sorts of other players. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you will encounter on your adventure. Yay, people! Because nobody cares about the magical animals This guy is the greatest trainer in the Galar region, and also the current champion. His name is Leon. In a region where Pokemon battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. I feel like he's gonna be it's the no best exaggeration best. to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. Maybe. Maybe not. The champion has a younger brother, who also happens to be one of your rivals. His name is Hop. <laughs> Hop dreams to one day become champion, just like his elder brother. And he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. Oh, uh, there's so much emotion. His journey through the Galar region begins on the Oh my god, they're texting! Oh! On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Galar region and specializes in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. It's the queen! Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Your abundant wisdom and sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon gyms in the Gala region. Yes! You and your rival will need to take on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamax. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you will need to counter them with some of your own. Battles between two Dynamax so Pokemon funny are explosive big. and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. This is the Grass-type expert, Milo. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokémon, and you will have to overcome his tenacious fighting style to continue your journey. Look forward to facing many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. We've shown off quite a bit today, but... I have one more video I would like you to see. Yes, please! Give please it to me! Take a look. Give it to me! <sighs> Not actual game footage. What is the- Oh my god, it's a wolf. A giant wolf. Another- What? What is that? Oh, what's going on here? So they're allies! The two Pokemon ah! you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokemon of the Gala region. Yes! Called Zashian and Zamazenta. 
Look forward to discovering for yourself just what role Zashin and Zamazenta will play in the story. I hope you enjoyed I literally Pokemon love Dura. how the one course, the sword legendary is just wielding a, a giant sword in its Pokemon mouth. Sword and Pokemon Shield. I don't know why, but I love it! There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Please look forward to it! <laughs> Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will be available on November 15th. Official box art! Global simultaneous <laughs> release. And starting today, you can pre order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more information. I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the Valor region. Thank you for watching. I literally can't even right now. Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. Uh, I'm dying a little bit inside right now. Oh, it's so much the process. That was that was absolutely amazing. All right, guys. Um. Oh my goodness. Um. Well, I can definitely confirm that I'm glad I wore blue for Savile because. Pokemon Sword is looking like it's going to be the one for me. And, ah, uh, what was the name of that turtle? Ah, uh, I can't remember. So much for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, whoo. All right, guys, I know this video has been pretty long. It's probably like my longest video I've done in maybe forever out of any video I've ever done. Oh my gosh, guys, so... Comment down what you are looking forward to, Pokemon Sword or Shield, which legendary do you like most, and what starter so far are you most likely going to choose. I'm still Team Sable. I'm. I was kind of wishing that they would show us some evolution stuff, but I will definitely, I am happy with what they gave us. I am beyond happy. I am... Uh, <laughs> wow! Alright guys, this has been Professor S and this has been Nintendo and Game Freak's Pokemon Sword and Shield live direct thing. Goodness me, I'm a... <laughs> well, I sound like, I keep sounding like Mario. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell to be notified whenever I, Professor S, come out with a new video. Leave us a thumbs up and comment something down below. Like I said, comment which game you're looking forward to and what starter you're looking forward to. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, take it easy, guys. Peace. Well, that was definitely some awesome news. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. And maybe while you're at it, check out one of these videos. We'll see you next time. Maybe next time I'll actually remember that that turtle's name is Dreadnaw. Well, see you guys later.